just saw was the underside of a lifted Jeep. You can see everything from the front axle to the transfer case, the transmission, the back axle, and our hitch post, which we like to put on because with the Jeep being uniframe, you dent the back, you total the vehicle. As you can see right here is the front tire, and then behind that is the front coil spring. There is one on both sides of the front of the vehicle and is what allows that axle to, along with steering, move independently up and down. And then you might not feel that in the body of the Jeep when you're driving, depending on what you're going with. This is the back axle on a lifted vehicle. You see the hub, which has all the gears. You see what looks like these white cylindrical bars. That is the shocks. The shocks on a lifted vehicle are normally bigger and they take more to compress. The, ob the idea behind a lifted vehicle is tires reaching the ground with the maximum amount of force. You don't want to be trying to get out of somewhere and your vehicle won't go anywhere because your tire won't press down hard enough. You'll see I'm talking about this a little bit later when my friend TJ gets stuck. This is a close-up picture of the front coil spring and the shock. Both of these work together so that you can keep on moving and you don't have to worry about getting stuck most of the time if you're doing it smart. As you can see right here, this is an idea of how big these vehicles get. You see all this empty area right here. That is your ground clearance. We like a lot of it so we can go over trees, rocks, and when we're going over very uneven terrain, like we are right here, the, we have room to not get the middle of our vehicle stuck. When you get stuck, unless you have a friend, you're not going anywhere, which we'll also demonstrate later. Okay, we're gonna hop off. Okay, hi, I'm TJ. I'm the driver of the red Jeep. Um, so what we have here is we have a very, very nice, very clean, uh, for the most part, 1999 uh, Jeep Cherokee Sport. Um, and my mistake was, as upon, upon entering this said puddle, if you look, all that uh, crap right there, uh, it was really soft underneath. Um, and just caused my truck to one lose traction and two just kind of push the terrain around so we have a tow strap hooked to David's Jeep and we're going to attempt to rescue my Jeep because this is my daily driver oh. so um, we're gonna set you guys up and uh, get a good shot of it hopefully but this side doesn't look that bad but it's, it's the front the front so, yeah, yeah, pretty stuck. If you look, my front diff, I don't know if you can see it. Focus. It's kind of underwater. So, that's where the problem is. So, alright, let's get to it.
trying to get TJ out of where he's stuck. Okay, trying to get him unstuck. That is him back there. See, start his vehicle. And, uh, Let's see how this goes. Look at this. Look at that monster truck right there. Woo! Oh, yeah, David. He lives in Stone Mountain.
What do you think about this adventure we're having? This is a lot of fun. Is it? It's even more fun than it looks on camera. Well, you know, it's, that's possible. You know it's a lot less fun? What? Having to wash my car later. <laughs> kind of upset. Not really. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But, I mean, you can't even see the, my paint right there. I mean, that's, that's pretty bad. Is that poop? No. I, took, I love my Jeep so much that every once in a while she gets a spa day where she gets a mud bath. I mean, look at that. It's just caked on there. It's like a quarter inch of mud. You just get stuck in a mud pit. Yeah, I really, really wish I wouldn't have gotten stuck. I mean, one, it's embarrassing, and two, I'm TJ. I don't get stuck. But, alas, I didn't break anything, which is good. I don't know if I broke anything yet because we haven't driven it on the road. We'll find out one way or another, right? Yep. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this beginner's tutorial of what it's like to go off-road. I also hope that my capstone class and professors that are also watching this decide to like what I've done this semester and give me a very good grade. I worked very hard on this and I had a lot of fun doing it. Thank you.